Fischneller making his way down to the lower port part of the track, well into the red, and skidding, and over. Oh, oh no. That oh. is just a huge surprise for one of the steadiest athletes on tour. That is so unfortunate and so disappointing to see that uh, Dominic has crashed and will not finish the race. The 27-year-old multi-time World Cup event winner is okay, stood right up. What happened here, Alex? Um, looks like he just didn't quite steer through the first chicane enough and caught the uh, right wall as it comes in a bit. Um, you do have to drive the sled through that chicane section and um, if you aren't able to keep the sled kind of in that middle ground between those uh, baked chicanes, it's uh, really either she's crushing it and going so fast or she might explode. Um, As evidenced right there. Oh Kate. my goodness. Maybe this, I... this is exactly where she had her problems during the World Cup and she will not have enough speed even though she maintains contact with that sled. She's not, she's not getting a finish time, is she? Oh my goodness. I, my heart just hurts. Um, I feel bad for even saying that. I, I feel <laughs> like, especially in luge, I mean, it's so mental. And a lot of athletes have rituals and I feel like I just casted a spell on the mm, situation. I wouldn't worry about it. It's <laughs> sort of the Russian way, as you mentioned, it's Demchenko's way. It's not the first crash we've seen from her. Yeah, and and let me say this this is really terrifying to go through. At least it was for me when when this would happen, um, especially in chicane. Uh, it, it, that there's so much going on in this little transition, uh, and she just had a lot of pressure on the end of Kreisel, and it, she she caught the wall immediately on the beginning of chicane, and it hit it sent her into left wall, and then she just flipped right over after hitting the right wall. And that is just. That is so scary. I know looking at this replay, it's like, oh, they might crash all the time. It's fine. But like the ice burn and just like, I do remember. I mean, this track scared me um, alone. Like I, this was, this track was hard. Oh, jeez. Ah. Oh, uh, so Elena Smaha has, uh, she's lost contact with the sled that officially disqualifies her from the race. More importantly, we hope she's okay, and we have to look out for that sled because it could sometime come shooting right back down, right? Right, right, yeah. It's, they really want to hold on to their sled, but sometimes you just, sometimes you just can't. Um, that, she's moving a little slow, and I know that feeling. Um, that's tough, and crashing is just another part of the sport. I mean, I remember being younger, they actually teach you how to crash properly um they teach you you know when you do crash don't necessarily just starfish and open up to slow yourself down just kind of just kind of let it happen wow. and until you stop she climbed Ow. high up that Wash wall her head. oh geez and then that kelstein just going into that it's it feels like a brick wall like it comes at you like a brick wall i shouldn't say for that through the Kreisel, that split time is Oh no! Oh, and they crashed. And um, they're not they, going to carry to the finish, are they? No, they won't. They will stop here. Oh, they're back on, but they'll be pretty hard for them to, even if they do finish here, make it uh, to the top 18. Well, they won't make the top 18. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> They might put her across the finish line here. I think they're going to get a finish. Oh, oh no, 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 no. No and, finish time. And there and is a mark well above this where, where yeah. after you cannot paddle or you're disqualified. They're just trying to paddle to you. Uh, it's kind of like the cool running scene, right? <laughs> where they carried that sled around the finish. Um, I don't know that they will um, even have a time that counts. We'll see what happened here in the chicanes there. Sled broke away and started skidding on them as I came through, and they just, um, the top, her higher center of gravity on a double sled uh, pulled them over as they had bad direction onto that second chicane there. And that's too bad for this uh, young Russian doubles team to. Having a pretty good run here. A nice clean line down bend away and navigating it well. 
Ooh. Tapping the wall there. Oh no. Major trouble. Oh They're off the sled. Not sure if they can carry the speed. They need to get no. back on that sled or at least maintain contact. It's not going to happen. So they're the second team to be disqualified from this competition. And the yeah, hits just keep on coming. They're going to get a DNF here. And um, really unfortunate through the chicanes. Um, they just had that loop where the sled is wavering up and down to the Kreisel. Here you can see it. They get a little high, drop low. And I mentioned that Tristan and Justin did this, but they also um, were able to manage it on the end where this team comes off and taps that wall on the right side. And they aren't able to recover from that, um, and it ends up them crashing. Um, they become really unfortunate. They become officially the second team to not get a finish time. Kashkin and Korshunov, again, officially were disqualified. This team gets a DNF. Kashkin and Korshunov get a DQ because they paddled. So uh, yes. those two are out. And an update, the final. Nice exit of cry. Oh no, they weren't able to navigate through the chicanes. Another crash, and they're back on the sled. Nice recovery. I've always said, Alex said, uh, as much as I. Oh, uh, and uh, the bottom man's foot is come off the sled. They're gonna have a really tough time getting back online here. They may do it. Let's see. Let's see this if is. They can and they have to get to the finish line in the sliding position. Without paddling. Without paddling. And they don't. The Russians were just, oh, Unfortunate. So uh, this field is paring itself down uh, to the final 18. Uh, you can see how disappointed that of course. top man is as he hits the ice in frustration. Well, what happened here? They were, Looks like they drove into a bit of a skid as they cut that first chicane. You have to steer through this section, so it's um, tricky to navigate if you're uh, not doing it kind of, you have to do it pretty gently to not have the sled break away on you. Um, and it can be hard to be second of the Romanian teams. And the final sled of run number oh, one. No. And they have a big hit off of curve nine. Big problems in S3-S4 that led to that hit uh, out of S4. Um, and with the profile transitions between the, the flat and the walls, you can see that they nearly crashed. Still, oh no, they have crashed. That is too bad for this young Romanian team, and I don't believe they will, no, they will not get carry back speed. on and carry enough speed to finish the run. No chance. So frustration for several of these last few teams, Alex. You know, the good news yeah. is that they're all okay. No injuries that we have seen. But no, it looks like they've all, and you can see they just had too much height at the end of S3 there, and that led them to uh, cross too hard to S4 and, and have too much height fall off or come out early and hit the wall on the inside. So both of the Romanian teams had DNFs. Both had crashes and, and failed to carry across the finish line. I still believe the way that the FIL the rules work, that one of those teams can represent their country tomorrow in the relay. But, uh... Also, I remember being told that um, women's hips. Oh, no. Ah, that is painful. At least she's holding on her sled. Um, so, no, she is not going to have the momentum. Maybe this is the finish curve right here, uh, but you cannot paddle. That's a, a rule of the sport of luge. If you paddle after a certain point on the course, you get disqualified. So we have had one missed paddle. Now we have had a crash, and two of the first five teams have effectively been disqualified from this competition. Oh, that's such a hard feeling too, because they're like, I just let my team down. We all got ready for this, and uh, oh, our head. I hope our head's okay. Oh wow, that—that's really the sled in the air. Wow, that is drama. Um, this is really painful. Um, as as interesting as it is to watch, this is this is not 